So you're contemplating buying your own aircraft and the question is, do I set up my own flight department or do I appoint an aircraft management company to take care of my airplane for me? Now, if you are a first time buyer, if you are somebody that's um, not an aviation person, you don't know much about aviation, but you are in need of an airplane to take you from A to B to C to D for business and leisure or one or the other or both or whatever, uh, then you know you need to be watching this video. My name is Fabrizio Sopoli and welcome to BizJet TV. If this is your first time here, there's lots of content here about business aviation. We're trying to answer as many questions as we can, but as I always say, we can only give general information here on BizJet TV. So I do encourage you to watch out for the link for orivilleaviation.com or click on the link below or my email address is, uh, is um, on this below this video and we can schedule a one-to-one -one Zoom call and address your specific need. So let's get into uh, the mix now and try to answer this question for you in the best possible way. Now, aircraft management company or your own flight department. Now, what is an aircraft management company? It's a company which is set up specifically to manage private aircraft. And what they do for you is they will source the pilots, they will pay the pilots, they will run the pilots, the flight attendants, the maintenance, the hangar, the flight planning. Uh, they'll do everything for you. So you pay them a fee every month uh, to do all this um, and they will take care of everything for you. So you, so just a one stop shop. And what a lot of these uh, management companies do as well is they will also chart your airplane out <coughs> to third party when you're not using it, if that's something that you want to do and allow you to recoup some of the costs of your own flights by chartering the plane out to other people. Now, this is what the management company does. So it's a great advantage um, and it's something that a lot of people like to do. Um, and that's um, what they do, basically. On the other front, we've got the um, in-house flight department. Now, um, how can you go about this? Now, there's lots of large corporations like Walmart, uh, Holly Davidson, whatever, that have anywhere between three, four to 30 aircraft, and they have their own flight department. So they have a manager there, and that manager takes care of everything. The advantage of having your own flight department, or even just having your own airplane with your own chief pilot that manages the whole operation for you, is privacy. Privacy and customization. So you can paint the aircraft whatever color you want with your name on it. You can have your name inside the airplane as well um, on the cushions or seats or whatever you want to do. Um, and that's something that when you are uh, giving your aircraft over to a management company, very often they will want it uh, painted in their colors or they won't want your logo on it um, because then when they're chartering the airplane, the person that's chartering the plane is convinced they're chartering from ABC Charter. They don't know that that airplane does not belong to ABC Charter. They think it, it, it belongs to you. They think it belongs to ABC Charter. So that's basically what happens um, in, in that case. So having your own flight department is a great advantage if you want your own privacy. You don't want people to know where you're going or where you've been. Um, you hire your own pilots. <clears throat> Usually what happens is uh, someone hires like a chief pilot and they will run the whole show for you. Um, now, I can help you with both. Uh, I can either manage aircraft for you or I can go out there and find a good management pilot to put in place there and he will run, he or she will run the show for you and manage your aircraft. So that's the advantage there. <clears throat> now, what should you do? Should you do one or the other? It really depends. Um, and there are benefits, pros and cons on both sides. Uh, I mean, of course, if you're managed, uh, your aircraft is managed by an aircraft management company and it's chartered out, then there could be situations where you want to use the airplane and the airplane's in Tokyo, you're in Houston, uh, you want to fly uh, tomorrow and the airplane's not back until three or four days later. Uh, but what the management company will probably do is they'll have another aircraft available for you uh, that you can use. Or if you need two airplanes on the same day, then they'll have that. But you know, you can do that even if you are managing the airplane yourself or you've got your own in-house flight department uh, by you know buying a jet card for supplemental lift and stuff like that or just chartering from the local uh, charter company uh, when your airplane's down or your airplane's away or you need two planes for a trip instead of one. Uh, those are all things that you can do. So, um, of course, the management company has access to a lot of deals. So you will get good deals on fuel, uh, landing fees and things like that, um, sometimes on maintenance. So potentially you could get a good deal there. But, you know, as we all know, sometimes it's not all about money uh, and privacy could be right at the top of your list. Uh, you're saying to yourself, well, you know, and also having my own pilots, you know, I can give them benefits. I mean, like the guys at Harley-Davidson, they, they get a lot of benefits 
um, with the, I don't know if they get Harley Davidson each, but you know, they get a lot of benefits from um, the company that, that owns the aeroplanes. So if you are, I don't know, a car dealership or whatever business you may be in, by having your own flight department, you're employing your own staff, your, your own pilots and that, they're part of your team. Um, and that is, is good. Also, what usually happens is when you have your own flight department, um, you usually then can pay your pilots more money and attract good people. I mean, I, I know a number of friends of mine that are managing aircraft for, for their owners and some are managing one plane, some two or three, and they're treated really, really well. They make more money than a lot of other pilots that I know. And uh, they're looked, they're well looked after. They get time off, et cetera, et cetera. And they've been with these owners for like 10, 15 years. Um, and that's the kind of thing um, that you may want with your uh, with your private jet. So, yeah, I, I like the idea of buying my own plane and hiring a couple of pilots, uh, a flight attendant or maybe a few more and let them look after me and my family and me and my company and, uh, you know, keep these guys for 15, 20 years and really look after them. And, you know, then, you know, I know them, they know me. You know, the level of customization goes right up if you have your own in-house flight department. Um, but, you know, it will cost you uh, more money than if you're giving it to somebody else to manage. Um, so these are kind of the pros and cons. It really depends on your type of operation um, and your style. I mean, what, what do you prefer? So, again, if you want to have a chat with me, um, let's get on a Zoom call and uh, do a one to one. So you book your pr private jet strategy call um, and then we can get more into specifics about, you know, you, your aircraft needs. Uh, because as I always say, it's not just about the airplane. What happens once the airplane gets delivered? You know, the day to day operations and that. How is that going to work? Um, and this is, you know, very, very uh, technical purchase, really. It's not like buying a house um, and this thing goes in the air. So you really need to go about it in a certain way. So, you know, who's going to be running the show on your airplane on a daily basis? It's almost like you've set up a new company and you need a CEO. So you would want someone that's competent, that knows how to manage aircraft and knows how to fly aircraft, knows about aircraft maintenance and that to do that for you. Now, uh, that's all from me on this episode. Uh, I encourage you to go and look at this uh, um, video we did uh, recently about the Falcon 10X. Interesting airplane um, being built by Dassault and the prototype will be flying soon. Um, so that's a good one. And if you haven't subscribed to Budget TV, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Uh, click on the notification bell so every time we publish, you'll, uh, you'll be notified. And uh, also, we'd love to hear your comments. So comment below, any suggestions, recommendations for the future. Uh, what do you think about flight department or managed uh, aircraft? What do you do with your airplane? Uh, what do you think is best for you? Um, what has been your experience? Let's get the conversation go going here on BizJet TV. And that's all from Felicity Polly on BizJet TV. And I'll see you on the next one.